Hey everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Glenn Tupper, I'm your host, and I'm here to give you a brand new tutorial on how to make and publish your own coffee table photography book. Now, I have scoured the internet for days and days and days upon hours and hours and hours so that I can bring you this video. And all you have to do is follow my simple steps. And you too can be an author of your own photography photo book. Now, before I begin, I would just like to ask you to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video. Let's get started. I am going to show you how to publish in easy, easy steps, how to publish your own coffee table photography book on KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. Your followers are going to be able to buy your photo book on Amazon. It's that simple. It's that simple. It took me a long time to figure this out and I am making this video for the sole purpose of showing you how to do it the easy way. Look no further. Look at no other videos. This is the video that's going to show you how to do it all. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Before we get into it, subscribe, like, share. I already said that, but one more time. Let me shrink this up. Boom. All right, so here we go. Shrunk that up. You can see me in the bottom right hand corner. I just want to put that in there because my glasses and my shirt are fabulous. But here we go. So the first step in making your very own photography coffee table book. And I'm making this video. I want you, I want you to know that on KDP, the very best way to make this coffee table book is eight and a half by eight and a half. I already did the research. You will make eight and a half by eight and a half. All right. That's what we're going for. But the very first step, and I've written these down for you, is you have to do a batch export in Photoshop. Now, the programs that you're going to need are Photoshop, InDesign, and you are going to need Adobe Acrobat. So how do you get these things? Check it out right here. I'm going to take you over to Creativity for All Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, if you only have one idea for a photo book, just start your free trial. Get all of them, do it, and then stop your trial. It's way cheaper than making a photo book on any of the other platforms. Put it on Amazon. That's all you got to do. Start your free trial. Get Photoshop, Adobe InDesign, and Adobe Acrobat, and I'm going to show you everything that you need to know on how to create your coffee table photo book. Let's go. So that's all you got to do. I'm going to drop links in the bottom uh, in the description on how you can get Adobe Creative Cloud, um, um, KDP. And I'm going to give you a bonus at the end on how to create a hardcover book, which I have done many times. Here's a hardcover book. All right. So on KDP, you are limited to um, an ebook, a soft cover book. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a bonus on how to create your book that you just made into a hardcover book. Here is one of my books. It's called Paramotor Australia. It is a few hundred page book. Boom. Look at that. Hardcover. So 
eventually, if you click on the right things and make this um, available to the world, this will link also as well into your soft cover book and people will have the option to purchase an ebook, a soft cover book, and a hard cover book if you do what I'm about to tell you. So let's get started here. All right, step one, whatever photos you want to include in your book, you need to edit them. And I'm not gonna tell you how to edit them, that's up to you, but you need to convert them to CMYK, all right? When you, when you take a photo, it is RGB and you need to convert them to CMYK. So here is the easy way to do that. All right, so here is my photo. One of my favorite photos that is in my Paramotor USA book. And I'm gonna show you quickly how to con batch convert every single one of your photos into CMYK. All right, that's just a way of CMYK is a printer friendly um, color photo that will easily print. You can't print in RGB, you have to print in CMYK. So this is the first step, all right? And the first step, let's say you have 100 photos, all right, you're not gonna wanna go and go image adjustments, um, our mode, CMYK, okay? So what you have to do is you have to go up here to this button where it says actions, okay? Actions, and you're gonna create a new one, and let's just call it RGB2CMYK. All right, you press record. Now it's recording, you see that red button? You go to image, adjustments, I'm sorry, mode, mode, CMYK. Press okay, and now you come down here, back to the actions, you press stop. Easy as that, that's one photo. Now, to do multiple photos, like you're creating a, a photography book, what you do is you go File, Automate, Batch. Okay, so this was the last action that I created, RGB to CMYK. You choose your folder and all, all of the photos that you want to convert from RGB to CMYK, you're gonna have them in a specific folder, okay? So in my case, uh, for example, I've got Paramotor Australia to convert. So I click this, I press select folder. So I put them all in one folder and then I've got them, my destination folder, I change it to there it is, it's already selected for me, CMYK. I press OK, I'm not gonna do it right now because I already did it. I press OK, and then all of those, all of those pictures are gonna automatically batch convert to CMYK, which is printer friendly, all right? So I would press OK, boom, it's done. That's the first step. The second step, okay, is to create your book. So now, now that you have your files ready for the book, we are going to go over to Adobe InDesign, and I've already got this book up for you, okay? It is called Paramotor Down Under. All right, you do not see the cover because the cover will come later when we get to the KDP website, you have to create your own cover and I'm gonna show you how to do that. However, I'm gonna show you the specifics of how to create your own eight and a half by eight and a half and so you will never mess up here, okay? So 
The first step, all right, you create the book in InDesign and you go to create new or whatever, but let me tell you right here, document setup, all right, here is what you need to have, all right, your page setup, eight and a half by eight and a half, perfect. This is the biggest book that you can have in KDP and still have a photo book. All right, eight and a half by eight and a half. Remember that, eight and a half by eight and a half. Your margins, you must create these margins. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. I'm gonna tell you why that's important in a little bit. You have to select bleed and slug. It's gonna look like this. It's not gonna show up. You have to click it down and you have to put your bleed to top 0.125, bottom 0.125, inside zero, and outside 0.125. I'll tell you why this is important in a second. This is how you set up your document. Do it just like this, all right? You press okay, here is your document. All right, you go to view, screen mode, normal. All right, you see these pink lines right here, okay? When you create your document, if you have any text inside your document, make sure 100% that all your text is inside the pink lines. Like I said, view, all right, screen mode, normal, right there, that's your margins. Every text has to be inside the pink lines, otherwise KDP will reject it. So forget about it. All right, so like you see here, all the text inside the pink margins, all right? Now, the next thing that you have to make sure of, let's go to view, screen mode, bleed. All right. So the bleed, the bleed is so important because when these guys go and print your book, if your picture, I'm gonna show you guys right here. Here's an example. If your photo is not outside of the bleed, then there's gonna be a white line here. So you have to have this bleed set perfectly and Back to the screen, right here. Let's say for example, you set this picture to about right here, okay? When they print this, you're gonna see a white line. They will not accept this. So you have to be very careful and very cognizant of your bleed. Take every single photo and put it out to the edge of your bleed, which you already set in the document settings that I just told you. Be very specific about that, okay? The top, the bottom, and the side. Now, if I had this all the way down the bottom, I would want it to go all the way to the edge of the bleed on the top, the right, the bottom, all the outside edges, all right? The next thing, zoom in, okay? For example, this one, I probably should have taken this photo and put it all the way to the edge so that there's nothing overlapping. Now, what I did was this one has Let's see, there you go. Perfect example. I want to take this all the way to the inside edge. It doesn't matter that much on this one because this is probably going to be on the inside, so I won't even really be able to see it. But you want to make sure that these are all touching each other. All right, so there you go. All these photos, you have to go through every single photo make sure that everything, here's a, a panoramic photo that I put 
it's on a double page and so it touches the outside outsides top and bottom okay that's the bleed now like I said just to be sure make sure that your text is inside the margins how do you do that one more time screen mode normal pink lines right there make sure all your text is inside the margins make sure all your photos are inside the bleed okay and now one of the biggest things that was so hard for me to get and took me hours and days and days and days to figure out is now okay this book right here that i have up is called paramotor australia which i also have in hardcover okay and it was so hard for me to figure out how to get this damn book on Kindle Direct Publishing. And I'm going to show you the key. You will not have to search anymore for this. Okay, so file. Export. All right. Make sure it says save as type Adobe PDF print. All right. So you can see right here how many times... I tried this, it took so long, and it took even longer for me to do Paramotor Americas and Paramotor USA. This book is a little bit smaller than the rest, so it took a, it wasn't as hard, but I learned from Paramotor the Americas and Paramotor USA how to create this so that KDP, Amazon, would accept it. All right, so, I am here to tell you the secret, and this is the big secret for all of you to know. All right, paramotor down under KDP, I don't know. I'm gonna put a five. Okay, so save. Now, general, you want the Adobe PDF preset to be high quality print, all right? Now, it's going to say high quality print, but when you go to compression and you change the number, it's going to be modified, all right? So PDF 1.4 works for me. However, compression, you need to change this number depending on your book size to fit for you, all right? For example, my Paramotor USA book was about a little less than 400 pages of all photos. So what I had to do was I started from 300. It didn't work because when you press export, it saves it as like almost a thousand or one, um, 1 1.0 megabytes, all right? So one gig, right? And KDP will not accept that. What I have found is that if you have a file that is less than 500 megabytes, KDP will accept it. So what you have to do in this case, uh, th I, I, this was from my Paramotor USA book, which is about 400 pages. I had to do it and do it and do it over and over again until it was 210 by cubic downsampling to 210 pixels per inch. That gave me less than 500. KDP accepted it. On Paramotor Australia, I was I think I was able to go to like 250. All right, so you're going to have to play with this number until KDP accepts it. So, let's just say for this book, for example, I press 210, I put 210 in there for the color and the grayscale, because I do have some grayscale, 210. And then, before you press export, you have to go to Marks and Bleeds, okay? Marks and Bleeds, and then check mark, use document bleed settings, which I told you were 0 0.125, 125, inside zero, outside 125. Do not include the slug area, don't include that, and then, you press export. All right, it takes a while. And what do we do with that file? Okay, 
So I've gone over the export settings. All right, so now we go to KDP. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys something. The next step after your export settings, you, you create that for a paperback book, you have to create your own book cover. And let me show you what happens often is you download their file, right? And here it goes. Here is their file. You select an option, eight and a half by eight and a half. Page count for my KDP uh, Paramotor USA was like four, no, I'm sorry, like 398. And you do color, download cover template. There you go, it's that easy. All right, so I download that. And I'm gonna show you what happens here in a second, how to create that and how do you prevent this from happening? Because it's way too, the file is way too big. But you wanna do, what you wanna do is you wanna go through this quality check on the print preview, and I'll show you how do you get to this and make sure that there's no faults here, okay? So here you go, all the text inside the margin. And then right outside here, all your photos are outside if you want them to be outside the gutter okay so you press approve oh i've been in here too long you press approve and now it's ready now i'm not going to press anything because this is just a sample to show you guys but let's go from the start print isbn I put use my own ISBN just for, because this is a fake one, but what you would wanna do if you create your own book is get a free IDSBN and you press assign me a free KDP ISBN. You would take that number, you would go back to InDesign and you would go up to the top and you would put that ISBN number here, okay? Now, publication date. Now, I would leave this blank. Print options, premium color with white paper, eight and a half by eight and a half. If it's not there, you select different size and select eight and a half by eight and a half. Bleed, you want that, PDF only, because you're gonna export PDF. Glossy, finish. All right, here you press upload paperback manuscript. Now, you hit that button. You upload your cover file and you wait for a few seconds until it uploads and then you press launch previewer. I can't press that right now because I changed this. I'm gonna hit use my own ISBN and I would hit launch previewer, okay? Now, the biggest thing that happened to me is this would never let me, it would say upload paperback manuscript failed. So, this is where I was saying, when you go file, export, Adobe PDF print, let's change this to six, save, compression. Let's say I tried this at 2.30, okay? And then I go back over here and I upload paperback manuscript and it says no, okay? It means that 230 is too big. But let's say you have uh, less than 200 photos, you may be able to get away with 300. All right, so just keep trying this, bracketing like, okay, let's try uh, 200, it works, or maybe I'll try 210. The higher that number gets, the better the quality your photos are gonna be when it goes to print. Okay, so anyways, I found out for my Paramotor USA book, uh, USA book right here, okay, which is that long. I found out that 210 is the perfect number. Now, once you upload your manuscript, 
All right, you're a manuscript and it has a check mark and it says uploaded successfully, you will need to upload a book cover. So what you can do is click uh, download a template. All right, you put in your page count and you download it. All right, so what you'll do is you will go to Photoshop and this is why I said you need another reason why you need Photoshop other than converting all your photos to CMYK you will download a, a template, all right? Now, the tricky thing here is that if you download this template, and here we go, here's the template, and then you create your, your cover, your spine, your back cover, and then you disable that layer, all right? And you press File, Export. All right, the reason why you need Acrobat is because when you da when you export this, all right, take note of right click document properties. This page size is 18.19 by 8.75 inches. So you got to right click document properties and see that. Now, when I went here to uh, the cover of my photo, for example, uh, Paramotor USA and let's say I go file export export as it's a JPEG it's already got this width and height so I press export right I save it I'm just gonna save it to the desktop for now Paramotor USA Kindle paperback cover one Save. All right. Now watch. If I go here to desktop, let's see, where is it? Right here. So, and then what you would have to do is convert to Adobe PDF. So I right clicked on it, converted to Adobe PDF, and then I go to document properties. Look at that. It is 75.79 by 36.4 inches. Not going to work. So, like I said, um, right here, that is why when I launch Previewer, that cover photo, the spine, and the back did not look right. That's why. It's like, you, th you would think that you would, in Photoshop, create this beautiful file for the front, the spine, and the back, and then the, th the file you downloaded, you put these pictures right over top of them, you press convert to PDF, and it would be the right size, but no, it doesn't work that way. So that's why you're watching this video, so that I can show you these tricks without you pulling your hair out and trying to figure out what's going on. This won't happen to you, okay? So I'm gonna press exit print previewer. I'm gonna go back to InDesign. I'm sorry, Acrobat. So here's Paramotor USA. I need this page size to be 18.19 by 8.75. So you simply go to tools, print production, and pre-flight. All right, you come down, uh, make sure at the top you hit uh, pre-press color and transparency. You come down to scale pages to specified size. Now there may be an easier way to do this, but this is what I found. And if you have an easier way to do this, put a, put a comment below to tell me. But anyways, you hit edit and you change the units to inch, and there you go, short edge to 8.75, long edge to 18.19. You press OK, and then you press Fix. I'm not gonna press Fix, because I already did that. And then you press File, Save As. All right, there you go. Now you go back to your KDP, you go down, you upload the book cover to the right cover. 
And let me show you guys something. I will just show you guys something, okay? You think this is crazy? All right, here is my... Where is it? All right, here we go. PTA, Paramount of the Americas. Here's everything I, I make for my three books, Paramount of the Americas, Paramount Australia, and Paramount USA. Paramount USA took me forever to figure out how to get KDP to finally accept it. So it's like, Paramount USA, Paramount USA 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. And I also have these on EPUBs, and that, that's, a, that's a whole nother story. So maybe my next video, I'm gonna show you how to, instead of a, a paperback, how to also get these out there on EPUB. So, you know, I think that maybe you put the price down on the EPUB and somebody buys it, they love the EPUB and they decide, all right, I want the paperback or the hardcover. So look how many times it took me. It took me forever to figure this out. And that's why I want you to not take forever. Get your book published. Uh, maybe you're just out there you know, flying around, you're a paramotor pilot or you're a wedding photographer or whatever the case may be, you're passionate about photography. This is the easiest way for you to get your book published and print on demand for, base, for free, for free, other than, you know, maybe starting a free trial with a, uh, um, Adobe Cloud, you like it, you pay $10 a month. If you're a student, you pay less than that. I mean, it, it, this is the easiest way, rather than going to some of these websites and paying, I don't know, my girlfriend or my fiance, she likes to get all these like, um, sp like specific things printed for us, even books. And she pays like a hundred dollars for a 30 page book. Look, you can make your own book. You can make your own book and even sell it. If it's good, you'll sell it. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. And now, now here is the great thing. The great thing. All right. So let's say you, you sign up for KDP Kindle direct publishing you get an EPUB or an ebook published, you get a paperback that's eight and a half by eight and a half. And then let's say that's, you want more, right? Cause the, the, the paperback is cool. It's cool to feel it in your hands, but you want a hardcover book. Here we go. All you gotta do is go to lulu.com Take what I just told you, everything I just told you, except now raise that, raise that. We go to file, export, all right, save. I'm gonna press cancel so that doesn't matter. And then we go to compression. Instead of 210, put it to 300 because Lulu does not care. Their, their file range is so high, they don't care. So you can upload like a one gig file and they will accept it, all right? So change your pixels per inch to 300, which is optimal for printing and upload it. It's same thing, all the same things like you just did the KDP, except it's gonna be on lulu.com. All right, so as you can see on my projects, I've got Paramotor Australia, Paramotor the Americas, and I just uploaded Paramotor USA. I ordered the hardcover book. It should be here. I will press, when I, when I get it and I love it, I will press needs approval. Now, the other cool thing about this, uh, they are expensive, right? So you can see the print cost for Paramotor USA is $75.90. The list price is $175. Paramotor the Americas print cost 
88, 82. The list price is 190, 14. But if you create your own website, you can go down here and Paramount of the Americas hardcover book. I, I set it for 130. So if somebody were to buy this at 130, right? The print cost is 88.82 plus shipping. I make a little profit for the hardcover book, which is a lot better quality than the Amazon KDP softcover book, which I've sold more softcover books. It's fine, but it gives you the option. So this is my bonus to you, lulu.com. I don't get anything for advertising this, but it is cool. If anything else, you know, I've got three books that I've got to hold in my hand, hardcover that I created inside. You know, I've got an ISBN. Lulu.com will give you your own ISBN. And then if you really want to pay attention, all right, so we go to Amazon.com. Let's search for um, Paramotor the Americas. Eventually, your book, check it out, Paramount of the Americas, paperback, $99.95, and then hardcover, $190. Eventually, if you post this on lulu.com, it's going to link on Amazon, and you will be able to, you'll have the option to sell paperback, hardcover, and Kindle all in the same title. So, The easiest way, again, in recap, the easiest way to get yourself self-published with your own photography book full of the best photography you've ever made in a few simple steps. All right, so first, convert your photos to CMYK, batch photo, all right, on Photoshop. Second, create your book. Go back, look at my... Um, my margins, my bleeds, all right? Make sure your text is inside the margins, your photos are inside the bleed, or set to the bleed. Export settings, big, big deal. Don't go searching the internet for what export settings you need. I just told you, all right, high quality PDF 1.4, compression down to what works. You're gonna have to mess with that, all right? For my book, Paramotor USA, a little less than 400 photos or 400 pages, I had to set it down to 210. It's still gonna look good when you get the book. All right, uh, you, on the export settings, use your bleed settings, then create the book cover. All right, find the page size that you downloaded from KDP and then use Acrobat tools, print preview, Pre-flight, change the page size to 18.19 by 8.75. You go to KDP, all right, and you upload your manuscript, your book cover, and you launch previewer, you press OK, you set your prices, you press accept, and boom, your photo, your photo book is ready to be sent to the entire world. I wish you the best of luck. If you like this video, hit subscribe, hit like, share this with your friends. I can't wait to make another video. The next video, I promise, I promise, I promise, I'm gonna show you how to make an EPUB book just like this so that your, your paperback book is complemented with an ebook that people can read and buy on KDP. Until next time, see you guys later. Thanks for watching, it was a pleasure. I can't wait to see your books. Drop a link, drop a comment so that I can see your books if this helps you out. Can't wait to see them. See you guys in the next video.